People, we're going to be attempting to open up this Honeywell fan. I think I bought this at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond many years ago. A lot of videos online about how to open up a Verando fan. Verando, Verando. Verando. You can see this thing's caked with dust. And the problem is that now when I turn the fan on, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to start up. And it's almost ready to burn the fan out by letting it run and trying to shake it around. So I'm going to open this thing up. We've got one on the top. What do we have? We have one on the 12 o'clock, one at about the 2 o'clock, um, one at about the 7 o'clock. We have Phillips screws. And on the bottom, 6 o'clock, we have a T10. So it looks like a T10 security, but it's a T10. Um, wanted to use this screwdriver, but you're going to need a very long handle, a very long shaft. So uh, men, get out your long shaft screwdriver, which you're going to need, um, because this is not going to work the way I'm trying to do this. And I think I opened this thing up years ago, and you could probably ruin this thing with all the little tabs they've got in here and the screws that want to strip out. But I'll be back when we go get my long shaft. And I will continue. So, I got my long shaft over here right now. Um, is that going to work? Why is that not working? Oh, come on. Nobody wants to waste their time watching this. It looks like we have, what did I say, 2 o'clock? Looks like we have a Phillips at a 2 o'clock and the 7 o'clock and the 12 o'clock and the 6 o'clock we have a Torx. So I don't have the best lighting here right now. Um, but you're definitely going to need a long shaft to be able to reach in here. If you like my videos, thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. I'm not going to turn off the camera. I might edit some of this out. This is T10. Um, somebody did a video on how to open up the Verundo. And he needed a T10, but it had that little dot in there with a security thing. And he thought he needed that, and he didn't have it, so he just stopped his video. But you don't need the, you don't need the security piece, even though it's got the little uh, bump in there. I'll try to get the screw out and show you what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm going to turn this off for a minute. Yeah. I don't have the best lighting in here. You're going to have a Phillips at 2 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Pretty good for uh, upside down that my brain works that way. You're going to have a T10 at 6 o'clock and midnight at 12 o'clock. Let's see if this front comes off. It does come off. Um, and we get some screws that are flopping around over here. So when I turn this upside down, we're going to have more screws that are going to come out. Shake that around a little bit. And uh, get some screws that are stuck in there. That's okay. This happens with all fans. This is the inside of the front cover, loaded with dust. Propeller of the blades, loaded with dust. The inside of the cage, loaded with dust. The motor caked with dust way down there. The back of this thing covered with dust. So uh, you could take this outside. I wouldn't do this indoors. Take it outside, use a duster blower or a, a garden blower. Try to get all the dust out. This has got a very weird, I don't know what kind, this is not a, I don't know what it's called, one of those spring clamps on there. Looks like I can probably pull this thing off. There's no way to pry it off, so it looks like I can pro probably pull off the blades. Maybe I can get some oil in there. If you're going to use oil, don't use three-in-one oil. you got to use that really thin, like sewing machine oil, very thin stuff. Um, don't spray it with WD-40. You will cause more problems than you need. Look at all the dirt in there. I mean, it's just unbelievable. It's really bad. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning. We'll come back and we'll see if I can get this thing to work. So what would happen when I power it on? It would like sit there and maybe it would go, mm, 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 mm. 
and it didn't want to move. Time to do some cleaning. There we are with the cover off. I just washed that in the sink. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to clean this up. I really wish I was outside doing this, but I'm not. And I'm indoors, so I got some paper towels, got a little bit of vinegar, going to try to get the cloth wet a little bit, clean this thing up as best I can, and then go in there and brush some of the dirt out of there. Uh, if you're outside, or if you have an outside, well, everyone has an outside, and you got a blower, I would suggest blowing all this stuff out. Put a mask on. You don't want this junk in your lungs. You definitely do not want this in your lungs. Standard cleaning. That's off of three blades. It's pretty bad. That's just on the front. And the inside of this thing, the... Uh, the openings, the grill, is even worse. So I think what I'm going to do, don't go in here and use a spray bottle and spray this and soak it down. You do not want the wetness. You don't want the, ladies, we don't want the wetness or moisture on the motor. We want the motor to work. We don't want wetness around electronics. So uh, I'm going to go try to clean this off with a brush as best I can in the bathtub, over the bathtub, and then I'll, uh, I'll come back. But this thing is absolutely filthy. Okay, back from the cleaning. It's a little dirty over there. I used a brush, used some uh, wet squares of toilet paper to clean a little bit. The problem was when I got over to my shaft, my shaft was dirty. And so I took some, uh, I used a brush, little brush I was able to get behind this. This is a hollowed out piece, a lot of dust on my shaft, and I was able to get the brush into, let's see, I was able to get it up there and remove the dirt, lots of dust, lots of dust wrapped around. And then there was a massive amount of dust right over here on my metal shaft. So I used the brush to clean that off. Um, yeah, we can see a little bit of dust and scratching over here. But once I removed all that dust, and there was a massive amount, once I cleaned that up, plugged the fan in, and it just started turning without a problem, no hesitation. So I can't really figure out how to get this piece off. The only thing I would do is I would want to put a little lubrication on my shaft if I was going to go down in here. But I'm just going to leave my shaft alone. I'm not going to... I'm not going to put any lubrication on there. I'm just going to leave it alone right now. You can see it's spinning. It's spinning good. This fan was, it's like about 20 years old, 15 years old, 10, eh, maybe 12, 13 years old. So it's working. When it gets to the point where I need to lube my shaft, I'm just going to throw it out. I don't want to mess with the oil and having it teed up and dripping around and flying around. You never want your lubrication to fly around the room. So. Uh, again, the, the fan has served its purpose. It's taken care of me for a long time. A little bit of dirt over here. I really don't care about that. Maybe I'll go in there later and clean it off. Let me close up my fan, and we'll plug it in and see if it's going to work. But so far, it just looks like most of the problem, was, or all of the problem, was dust. A lot of, a lot of dirt on my, uh, on my shaft over here and inside here. That is all the dirt that came off of the fan. I decided why not piss off the neighbors, put on the blower late at night, and get all this junk out of there. So this came out of that tiny little fan. And that doesn't include the cloth, which had all the dirt on it. So massive amount of dirt. Let's plug it in and see what happens. You can see it looks much better. It's all black. Not a lot of dust in here right now. It kind of looks almost new without being new. <coughs> As I said when I would turn on the fan, it would sit there, the blades wouldn't turn, and then I'd have to shake it around a little bit, and then go, mm, mm, mm. so I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to plug this in. It's plugged in. We'll put it on for the first time. Let's see what happens. It's fixed. Wow. And it's not doing that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I just uh, fixed the Honeywell fan. I don't know what the model number is, but... Uh, if you're not good with electronics, you don't have to be, because this was not plugged in while I was working on it. It was not plugged in. I used a brush. I cleaned everything off. I used a blower. You might be able to use a blower without opening this thing up and try to remove the dust from around that little shaft that I showed you before. That's where all the dust was. Um, and that might fix it. 
I wanted to show a full video, so I removed the four screws and the two Torx T10 screws. Cleaned it up. Just saved myself about, I don't know what this thing cost, maybe $10, $20, $30. Who knows what it cost? Bed Bath & Beyond at Costco, about $14, $24, maybe like eight, nine years ago. So that's how you fix the Honeywell fan. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't turn at all, and it doesn't make any sound, you can try cleaning it. It might be burned out. The motor might, might be burned out. Chances are it's just clogged up with dirt and gunk, gunk on the shaft. Remember, if you get that uh, gunk on your shaft, it's not going to it's not going to turn. So you got to clean it up. Don't use WD-40. Do not use uh, vinegar. The only thing I would use is three-in-one. No, don't use three-in-one oil. You got to use a really thin machine oil. But I would try to avoid that. If it gets to the point, just throw the thing away. Buy a new fan. Please do a thumbs up, subscribe, a like, a share. All the stuff that nobody does. If I saved you nine thousand dollars to replace your fan, there is a link in the video description so that you can leave me a donation. Thank you for watching. Stay safe out there, people.